Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. Join the party. Like and share this feed. Once your ass get in here, once again, it is too early for this shit. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, good morning, good morning mama. What's up? What's up, Timmy? Timmy on the move. Good morning. He on the run tour. Yes, man. Look at what's that? We look at nigga. What's that sign saying in the back? Like you a Mexican? It looked like you. What is? What is that? I thought I saw some Spanish signs in the background. Are you in Mexico? Nah, nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a work oh, okay. Uh, rebuild, rebuild Baltimore, huh? Can you hear? Yeah. It's hard for me to hear. I'm at the grounds of construction. We were in Baltimore. Yeah, here, here, and be more. You, 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 and you, and you, and be more. You up there with the dub? <laughs> well, how was your weekend, Dale? It was good. It was good. Me and my brother did the art show in Delaware. Shout out to uh, Wilmington, Delaware. It was a nice. Oh, that's right. That's right. I can't it was a nice visit. It was cool. It was cool. Sold, sold, sold a little art here and there. That's what's up. Mine was, mine was chill, not long enough. Can't complain, though. You know, had a fuck these right? last couple of days. We done lost a little Timmy yet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things have some technical difficulties. So what's going on with you? How was your weekend? My weekend was good. Um, I was on um, two different shows this weekend. I was on Women Talk Live. Okay. And um, I was also on Women Talk uh, Live. Uh, the Facebook live show, which was actually really, really good. It was just an extended version. We got to um, go to, go a little more in depth on the show, um, and it was really, really good. We were talking about um, uh, Black Mirror. I don't know if you watched that show or not, but it's on Netflix. Black Mirror Season 5, Episode 1. Okay. I ain't gonna give it away. That's y'all homework. I want y'all to watch it. That shit is off the chain. I okay. got so many different opinions on it. I'm just going to say this. I'm with the shit. So when you watch it and you see it, you will be like, I see what she's saying. Okay. That bitch is crazy. But I digress. Okay. Okay. We're definitely, we're definitely watching and have a convo on it. Everybody that's watching, please like and share. And don't forget to watch Black Mirror on Netflix. So we're going to talk about it one day this week. Five episode one. Season five. I'm episode talking one. about it on my page, uh, Monroe Ali. So I'm going to be talking about it on Thursday at three thirty p.m. I'm going live. I've been so all my my sugar poos that we to go watch it and do their homework, and we're going to talk about it and go in depth. I want to hear y'all opinion. So if you got a little time on Thursday to slide your ass on over to my page and you know hit my craziness and check out my craziness with my fans, um, and we're going to be talking about it three thirty on Thursday. But let's get right on into this too early for this shit type of news. Oh, yeah, what we got going on until Timmy come back? So this this is absolutely hilarious, okay? So a mover, a guy decided that he was going to move, you know, all the way from, uh, what is that place called? California all the way to D.C., right? And so he wanted to hire movers to move his stuff. Okay, so here's the story. Joe Gold, I believe his name is, thought it would be a simple cross-country move from California to D.C., like I said. But when the movers arrived with the U-Haul truck with his belongings, and he had to chase the driver through the back alley of the apartment, hold on, wait, yeah, of the apartment, things got complicated and heated. When Seven on Your Side met up with Guild, he was confronting the moving truck driver. Give me my stuff back. It's not about you, is what he said to the driver, right? Hmm. So um, Gil says it's because he refused to pay the driver who works for the company Affordable Moving Systems, LLC. And they want, he wanted him to pay an additional $650 in cash. Oh. Cash. <laughs> 
the driver refused to unload the truck with his stuff until he got paid the six hundred and fifty dollars. Needless to say, so he tried. He tried to get his money back for the trip he spent at the strip club on the way when he stopped through Texas. Absolutely, yeah, that's absolutely. What that's all that was. Now, Gall. Now, okay. So the Gall says that he had to pay um, about fifteen hundred for the actual cross country move, and he paid seventy percent of that up front, which just left him with a little small balance. But what happened is the additional six hundred and fifty dollars came into play because when they got to DC, they had to uh, rent a smaller truck to maneuver through the streets of DC. So they wanted him. To pay for that initial for that additional rental fee. Nah, not at all. Not if your company called logistics or got something yeah. to do with moving. You gotta know all this stuff before you take the job. You gotta factor all that in. What's up, Timmy? You back, baby? What's up? Can you hear us now, Timmy? So so I mean, my, my thing is when you a logistics company, you gotta already have that figured out before you charge somebody. Uh -huh. Exactly. You on the back end talking about, oh, I had to do this. Nah, you should have known you was going to have to do this. Right. Yeah, so that's, they, they really, so needless to say, he's suing them, but he said he had to file a claim against the company, but he did have to, he agreed to pay the $650 just so that he can get his shit back because they wasn't budging on that. No, the driver stopped through H-Town. Shout out to H-Town, everybody H-Town. And he fucked around spending sixty dollars on on Lexus and chocolate drop, and now he's Not trying to get his money back. Chocolate drop, chocolate drop, chocolate drop, and Lexus. I was like, I mean, I don't think he deserves to have to pay that. I think that is absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Now, the Better Bear, the Better Business Bureau, when they um reached, when he reached out to them, they said that there has been several scams like that. Uh, uh, dealing with cross-country moves, you know, especially if they want you to start paying with cash or upfront or anything like that, that's a sign that usually some type of scam is being had. You always want to pay with the car so that you have some type of paper trail with the transaction. Right, definitely. Definitely got to use that car for a transaction. Cause that's, 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 a, that's a good thing now. I mean, that's that's one of the good things about using your car and all that kind of stuff. Man. Absolutely. Let yeah. me tell you, I ain't finna bother to tell you, right? So this company, Waste Shapers, I'm pulling, I'm calling the ass out. I ordered me a waste trainer from there, right? <laughs> all the way in May for my trip to New Orleans, right? Yeah. I ain't finna bother to tell y'all I still ain't got the shit. I reached out to them hoes. They said that they was going to send it. It was a back order. I, I ordered it May 21st. I hit them up June 21st. I still ain't have my shit. Wow. They it's still a back order. I think Tim, little Timmy is back. What's, it, what, what's the name of the company? Waste Shapers with a Z. Then I tell them, you know what? This is ridiculous. I've been waiting, you know, whatever, whatever. I want my money back. Oh, well, we don't do refunds. I said, the devil is a lie. Thank God I paid by PayPal. Honey, PayPal is a godsend. Okay? Yeah. PayPal not only refunded me my money, but sure did go after them to get theirs, honey. You, uh, you, let me tell you, you're not going to do yeah, that. I didn't contact PayPal. I ordered some some um luggage, luggage offline. <laughs> For Christmas, I feel like that. <laughs> That's a damn shame. That shit is ridiculous. <laughs> I, don't some, I don't bought some more luggage and everything. Yeah, but make sure you get your money back. See, I ain't, I'm all for I got a no whole new shaper, but I want my money back. And it was only $80. I was going to pay the shit. You pay it no mind. Just forget about it. But... When you start talking shit via email, oh, you can't get your money back, no refund. Oh, so you mean that you're going to take your little lily white ass time and think that it's going to be all right, yeah. and I'm not going to get my coin back? Oh, no. Mm -mm. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, so you, can go you, PayPal, PayPal. you can go on PayPal and research your history and get your yeah. money back? Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, you ain't got that much power, honey. I don't know who you thought you was. But speaking of power... Let's get into the next story. So okay. you know, power comes back on soon and very soon. Was it August? August twenty fifth, something like that. Twenty fifth, twenty fifth. August the twenty sixth. But you know, they're doing a lot of spinoffs, and guess who's going to be on one of the spinoffs? Yes, Mary, Miss Mary. Mary. Okay. Okay. So yeah, they had um 
I could see her playing like a junior Tasha or something like that, like a Tasha role or something, you know, in the game thick, loving somebody. I am with it. So this is the story. As fans continue to count down to the sixth season of the hit series, Star Series Power, they will be happy to know that there are a collection of spinoffs in the works. And the one, the one, hold on, and the first one is set to star the one and only Mary J. Blige. Okay. During the Reef Television Critics Association press tour, Power creator Courtney uh, Kemp announced that Power Book 2, Ghost, is currently in pre-production. Okay. The spin-off series will continue the journey of some of Power's characters, not all, and um, Kim says, though it won't necessarily focus on the character of James Ghost St. Patrick, played by the one and only fine ass Omari Hardwick, Mary made an appearance at the TCA panel um, and pretty much uh, along with 50 Cent, 50 Cent, Patty Cent was there. Yes, Patty Cent yeah, was Patty there. Cent. <laughs> yes, Patty Cent was there. And, you know, she, uh, Mary revealed that she is a huge fan of the show. And uh, what she said was hilarious to me. She said, I've known many Tasha's. I've known so many ghosts and I've dated so many ghosts. I yeah. said, oh, shit. She I said, she, that's how she, yeah. Yeah. She, she expressed how huge of a fan she was of the show and she was grateful to be a part of it. Yeah. So the sixth and final season of Power Returns on August the 25th. I'm excited about it. I think we got little Timmy back too. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. Ah! <laughs> and, and so look. And jump right on it. Honestly, yeah, honestly jump. I, don't, I don't I don't I don't think this is the last season of power. They may they may just stop power and do all these spin-offs because they, they creative like that. But uh so I've worked with Ro Timmy before. And I was you actually, said you, I like Ro Timmy. Too fine, man. So I'm gonna spill some tea. I was I was with him when he got a phone call, and I think he told me they was supposed to do eight seasons. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. come through with yeah. the inside school. So um, I don't know if they changed it or not. That was maybe like a year ago or a year and a half ago. Uh, I don't know if they changed it a lot, but uh, you know he he um he got a raise, and they said it was in, increasing the series to eight series. So I don't know if they changed it or not, but. I don't know if this is gonna be the last one, or they're just gonna do spinoffs now and, and create more rev more revenue like that. Because you know, a, a great right. show like this and a, and a company like Stars, they're not just gonna cut that off. And right now, with the Black yeah. Dollar being so strong in the entertainment side, they're not gonna stop that. That's why we get so many Little Mermaids and Black Little Mermaids and Lion Kings and I'm all these. For. I'm for. Yeah, because Black Mermaid. You yeah, the Black Mermaid that can't swim. Holly Bailey from the Chloe and Holly twins. She's gonna be she's gonna be the little mermaid. In their remake. So that's why we're getting all these um Black Panther, Black Spider-Man, and because they know we're spending they try they they're getting their, they're trying to get the black dollar. I'm sorry. I'm here for the shit. I am here for it. So, speaking of Black Hollywood and Black actors and Black, black actresses, can you... It, it's definitely too early for this shit. Please, y'all, make sure y'all like and share this feed because this, um, this is only, you know, going to get absolutely most, way better. The most prepared, unprepared show ever. The most prepared, unprepared show. We talk about anything, everything, and absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think we didn't get Timmy back again. I, I don't know. I don't know where he at. We're dealing with this great technology. We're gonna keep working with it though. Keep it moving. We're gonna keep it pushing. Timmy, you there? I can I can hear y'all, but I can't see y'all. Go on, I can see, I can hear y'all. <laughs> <No. laughs> a, you. a black mermaid. How the fuck is a black mermaid? She can't even get her hair wet. Black she, <laughs> she got dread. She could have had where the case swim. <laughs> no, no, she's sitting, she sitting there with a fucking swim cap on. But you're a mermaid with a swim cap. But she gonna stand in the shallow water and twerk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I love it though. I love it. I'm here for the shit. Yeah. But listen, y'all, this right here is crazy. So somebody has stolen 
Cookie's identity. I'm talking about Taraji P. Hansen. She looks just like her. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you are a crazy to believe that. That bitch like Javante Davis. She's like a boxer, don't she? That bitch like Tank. <laughs> no, don't she know? That bitch like Javante Davis. Like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how she went to store with an idea of something that said to Roger P. Hit, and, and, and they and they was like, "Yeah, okay." Yeah. They made that purchase. Like yeah. So she was doing a whole lot of online purchases, apparently. So, but get into this. So she is a pregnant mother of six now. Oh, Pregnant man. mother of fighting felony charges after the prosecutors accused her of stealing the identities of several people, not just one, not not just only Taraji, but several people. Okay, wow. according to the Chicago Tribune, 29-year-old Alicia Newby has been charged with a single felony account continuing a financial crime enterprise. Prosecutors say Alicia somehow hacked Taraji's email racking up $12,000 in fraudulent charges. Once this was done, the defendant then raided the account. So this is what she did. She Once she hacked the email, she, she raided the account for a variety of information. She had access to phone numbers, addresses, financial accounts, and and telephone numbers that she could use to purchase the items. Hold on, yeah, purchase the items. And then they were being shipped to the south side of Chicago addresses under a name that the that her Taraji staff didn't recognize. So they started to report it to you know the police about the scam because they were seeing these 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 charges going to addresses with names that they did not recognize. This bitch even had utilities in her name. Wow. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Chef? Hey, Tina. Tina says she don't hey. order stars, right? She, Tina says she ordered stars, right? Stars right before power come on. I know that's why she can cut it off and then cut it back over. I want to get those numbers of how, because a lot of people do that. Order stars right before it come on. Right, and then you cancel it. Then cancel it. Yeah. Once it was, I want to get those numbers on that. I don't know. I see, how power, so see how powerful power, power is in the black dollar. That would be interesting. That would be interesting got, to say. I, I can't wait. Look, I, I can't wait to see power. I'm in the gym now. I, girl, they said some girls said I had to buy. Like, some girls said I had to buy like ghosts. I got to buy it just like ghosts. Okay. You have a body like no, no. a ghost. Like no, like ghosts from power. You have a body like a ghost, like no, non-existent. No. <laughs> not, 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 we can't. Yeah. Good oh, morning, Ray Sean. Like, how you doing? Like Pac Man, like Pac Man goes. It's wide. That's more realistic. Yeah, that well. is... <laughs> my, my, somebody told me I had a uh, body like somebody on power. They say you got a power like um the Italian guy number sixteen in episode four. <laughs> that was so <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> 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 Del, Del got to buy it like a piggy bank. You ever see a piggy bank, them long ones? But then wide the bottom? <laughs> you see Del, I'm going to put a quarter in his mouth. Pull that for me. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Hey, you stupid. This damn thing is doing whatever it wants. Let me tell you something. This is the most unprepared, prepared show I've ever been on in my entire life. I just went out, came back. I don't know what's going on, but I'm here, I guess. What's going on, Chef? Yeah, Chef said he ordered. Chef said he come from. I come from a big rich town. I come from the poorest part. I order stars every season. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I know at least. I know at least fifty people personally that do that. That order stars. Start it back up. I know they gotta know that's what the fuck is going on. But they, hey, What's hey, they take that, they take that the whole they take that twenty-five dollars. They take that little twenty-five dollars for that for that. A series show, and they and they and I get and I, I guarantee it'd be about 25 million. That is, fine. yeah, you right. Man. Oh, shit. I love, I love that Step Power song, but it'd it be Baltimore. This Baltimore got some big ass. But this is a big bitch town. <laughs> <laughs> Baltimore's a big bitch town. <laughs> You get on that motherfucking nerve. Speaking, speaking of Baltimore, y'all got some shit going on there with one of them councilmen and Donald Trump. Got a beef uh, going on, man. You know, 
Absolutely. Okay. So, Elijah, Elijah Cummings, I have that story. I'm waiting for this to pull up. This yeah. month, the second thing. This I know, but guess what? The Donald Trump said what he said, and I know he said it was wrong, but then we had six murders the day before. <laughs> what the fuck you all say? <laughs> I mean, and then he he even challenged Donald Trump to come to Baltimore and speak on it. Good morning, you know, so he can get shot. Did you know that's what's gonna happen? Happy who have a lady birthday, bro? I hope you enjoyed your birthday, who? Yeah, happy oh, happy birthday, who? I know you got happy, happy birthday because that's all you were lady birthday. Fucking drug addict. Happy you said if you can ask that to keep stars, that's why it's hard for me to. <laughs> Chef say the side chicks keep stars on that way. Go watch it. I can't let them go. They got stars. That's how they do it. Uh, Emma said, Timmy, what you feel about uh, Duma? What Duma said? Who? Duma? What Duma? Tina asked, what you feel about what? Yeah. I don't know. Who's Duma? The president? She said she got it's a big shot. She come from the whole part. I know. <laughs> this, thing, this thing is really acting up, y'all. I'm trying to I'm trying to get y'all on the screen. This thing ain't good. I can I can hear you, but you pro you sitting there posed on my screen with your mouth wide open. Not a good look, <laughs> Not a good look. Not, not a good look. That's the problem. <laughs> Don't forget to like and share this feed. And also tomorrow, check out 420 Radio Rip Radio Network with my man Big Who, one of the hottest shows out there, man. Y'all got to check him out. It's the funniest show and the funniest show I've, radio show I've ever been on. I had a ball, man. They, them guys are great, man. Big Who and them are excellent, man. They take care of you. Oh, yeah. They, when I got there, man, they had, the little, they had the green room with the food in it. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I just don't want your drugs. I mean, everybody not a fucking drug addict. Who? I don't want your fucking drugs. I said. I, I said you want some weed. I said my police. He said, Oh, you want cocaine then? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the weed. You want the real shit. Like, oh yeah, you okay? Oh, yeah, you want. You want. You want. You want a little white girl in you uh, Yeah. 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 I do want a white girl with me. I'm going white girl hunting this weekend. And yeah. I need all the brothers in here. What I need to catch a white girl? What I need to put her on the hook? Some mayonnaise? What? 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 <laughs> just, just, just clean up and smell good, man. Uh, I, I, all I want me is, I, I, just want me, I, I just want me a co-signer. How do I find a co-signer this weekend? I got a car I'm trying to get. <laughs> 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 if anybody know any white girls willing to co-sign and some and some halfway decent sex, call me. <laughs> seven 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 nine three eleven. Nine three eleven. Yeah, but everybody talking about what Trump said about Baltimore, man. It's just, I mean, somebody made a good point. Uh, y'all know it's kind of true. You just mad at the person who said it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, Baltimore, I love Baltimore. It's my city, man. But when you have a six or seven murders a weekend, I mean, it's hard to defend that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> when you have people getting killed every day in Baltimore. You know, you, we have like 90 to 100 murders already in freaking July, you know? So I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I wonder, was he trying to go at him on the allocation of money, what they're doing with the, the, the funds or whatever <laughs> they're doing up there in Baltimore? Well... The problem is, I think Elijah Cummings was uh, instrumental in getting a lot of Trump people subpoenaed for this hearing that's coming up, and he pissed off. Right. He just mad because Elijah, you know, Elijah got a lot of power. He has a lot of power. You know, he's been in that office for 20 some years. Elijah been in that office for a long time, man. You know, and I mean, he's not going anywhere because he's mad powerful, and he's, he does, you know, he does his job. If anybody say who's not corrupt, who is not corrupt in Baltimore, it's Elijah Cummings. That man has always worked hard. That's good. That's good, there. especially especially being a black man with all the corruption going on. We we got to get some positive black folks in there so yeah. that I'll he, he continue the, to support us. Right. He the Marion Barry of Baltimore without the crack in the horse. He's Marion Barry. Okay, okay. What yeah, John yeah. said, go, to a, go to a white bar, you'll catch a white girl. 
I know, man. I know. But I ain't trying to drink fucking Dos Equis all night. I ain't trying to drink that bullshit. <laughs> Dos Equis and Bud, huh? I ain't trying to drink that Dos Equis and, and Miller Light and Bud all fucking night. <laughs> Do you want the car or not? I know, man. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I guess Shannon of hands, here I come. <laughs> you, know, you know that's a white ball when it's called Shannon hands. Shannon hands. Shannon. <laughs> Say you about to get them tax returns. Oh yeah, go about Shannon hands. Hey Monroe and hey, Fro. I'm I'm right. Right. I just that's Shannon hands. There's like 16 white bitches in there already waiting for you. Okay, the white. Why, why you froze up smiling like you just finished the nigga off? Like like Miss Butter, like Miss Butterworth. You know, <laughs> but <it worked. laughs> your service was rendered. Thank you. <laughs> you just froze. Looking why like, looking just, like hey, why nigga got you sitting in that high car like you're a puppy? <laughs> That's illegal. That's illegal. I'm gonna tell nigga, she the fuck I get fired and got you sitting in that car. Like he went back out. Barbara went back out. He look like the Miss Barbara Because she passed the fuck out in the hot car. She bust the window. <laughs> <laughs> ass. Good morning, good morning, Rosalind. We not talking about your daughter, Rosalind. We not talking about your daughter. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, you need to go save your daughter in the damn hot ass car. Nicky got her in the goddamn car, pant with no water. We gonna leave her there. <laughs> in that way, the weed like they're hot in here. <laughs> Where you going this weekend? Where you going this weekend, Dale? This weekend, this weekend, man, my daughter taking a father daughter trip. We going to Orlando. We are gonna try. Anybody out there at Universal Land that knows somebody that work at Universal got discount tickets? Hit me up. Right, inbox me right now. Inbox me right now. <laughs> you know what? The best time to tell you not her father is right before you go down the hill on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Get all the way to the top. I'm not your father. <laughs> and see what she do. See what she do. See, see how scary that'd be. I'm not your real father. <laughs> nah, I might, I might take one of my boys to do that, but not my, not my baby. <laughs> that's my baby. Too many boys, let your boys do it. Oh, uh, I'm not your baby. That's how I told my wife I was cheating on him. We got to the top of the hill on roller coaster. I was like, oh shit, here it comes, here it comes, go. I'm sleeping with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Please like and share. Please definitely share. The share is free. Just hit the share button. It don't cost you nothing. If they charge you, whatever they charge you, Timmy going to give it back to you. Oh, yeah, you give it back <laughs> for me. Look, I write you a check. A check for me ain't nothing but a promise. You, I write you all the checks you want. A promise there, no. <laughs> a promise you be back. You be better off getting motherfucking it's early. <laughs> I judge, man. How we go? We go to the case and win the cake because we go to judge, man. He'd be like, oh, he told you he's gonna pay you when he got his taxes back, right? <laughs> yeah, nigga. I need a co-signer. I went to a dealership the other day. They ran my credit and came back with the police. I knew I need my, I need my credit straight. My credit fucked up. They came back with the police. I'm like, shit. They thought they were playing games, son. <laughs> I need me a white girl. Today, this weekend is white girl hunting. Anybody know any? I don't want no Beckys. I want Rebecca. Rebecca. You, yeah, see, you, Becky, you, you, Becky want, a, you want a white girl when you get in the car, you got you got to slap her and turn her radio station. If she, if she listen to fucking Bon Jovi or Hall of Notes, don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. Good morning, Bobby. How you doing? How you doing? We try, we try, we try to get the daughter back on here, but uh, something going wrong. I know she in a hot ass car. She in a hot ass car. She gonna come back. She in a hot ass car. She gonna come back and wig gonna be tilted. Eyebrows gonna be missing. Nikki, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know she in the points with with the with no AC but the window down, huh? And Nikki got her in that pants. <laughs> in the Nikki got her in a hot ass car. <laughs> Man, it's a mess, man. But um, so, we don't, say, we, hey, don't we got to show August thirtieth? Are we doing one city winery? August thirty city winery. Yeah, that's that's coming up. That's coming up. On um, the lineup should be coming out this week. So I'm oh, we, I think I'm I'm headlining. So I know I'm headlining that show. Okay, send me headlining. Send me headlining. Uh, I got to talk to Nick about somebody too. Um, 
the young comedian man, uh, he was on Fox Five this morning. He's one of my son's uh, good friends. I'm gonna see if we can get him about 15 minutes. Who is he? Who is he? I can't remember his name. I gotta ask my son again. But he was on the uh, Fox Five News yesterday morning. Okay, good yeah, man, yeah. good. He, they they yeah. brought they made a little video talking about the man shitting on the mother weather. Wow, really? Yeah. Ray, Ray so, Sean says she's gonna go with you uh, to the white bar and be your wingman. Who? Ray Sean, she um she was taking the pictures at the uh at the thing. Um oh, yeah, yeah, be my yeah, be my wing, be my wing person. Boy, I, I ain't got no problem with that. Be my wing person. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the lingo. I mean, I don't know the lingo. Do I go to a restaurant and order mayonnaise sandwiches? I, I, I don't do this. I need, to, I need to find a white girl. I need a white. I need to find a white girl. I need to, this is my weekend thing. Find a white. This weekend, I will have a picture with a white girl. Watch. <laughs> Dave, David Ruffin. <laughs> Y'all say whatever. <laughs> I, I ain't turn my back on you. I ain't turn my back on you, black women. I still love y'all, but y'all just want co sign for a brother. Y'all want to be required, but you want to see my bank statements. That ain't your business. <laughs> it ain't your business. Just sign this paper, bitch. Just sign this goddamn paper. You know what I mean? Boy. All right, man. So we got that coming up August 30th. This weekend, you don't, you don't break this weekend. You don't white girl hunt this weekend. Well, I got I got I do got a show in uh, in Baltimore and Dundalk, Maryland. I had one in Virginia, but it got canceled with uh, Chris Thomas. But I'll be in um, Baltimore this weekend. Okay. Um, for Friday night, Saturday night, I'm going to Philadelphia to hang out. No, there you go with that smile on her face again. Okay. Part two. Part two. And then and then I'll be hey, in Orlando I this weekend. I'm not doing the show, and then you'll see me hanging out. And in, in, uh, if you're in the Orlando area, holler at me. Me and my daughter gonna be down there hanging out. I told you. I told you what to do. As soon as you get on the roller coaster, get to the top of the hill and tell all the shit you want to tell them. You're <laughs> I never liked your mother. <laughs> and then go down the hill. She'll never hear. <laughs> y'all crazy. Y'all crazy, man. We appreciate y'all joining us today. Joining us this morning, hanging out with me, Timmy and Monroe, a.k.a. Miss Butterworth. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Hot Car. <laughs> Miss Hot Car Butterworth, a.k.a. Miss Hot Car, a.k.a. Miss Butterworth, a.k.a. Miss Freeze Frame. <laughs> 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 Miss Yo, everybody, enjoy your day. Have an amazing day. Um, we plan on seeing you on tomorrow. It depends on we can get everything prepared, man. But y'all be great, man. Be amazing. Enjoy the weather, man. We love y'all. And we out, man. It's too early yeah. for this shit. For this shit. Peace.